You want me to teach you some extremely useful advanced English vocabulary in just a few minutes? By all means. Yes, the two expressions I'm going to teach you today are very useful for your conversation in English. And also, in particular, if you're preparing for a Cambridge English exam, whether it's the B2 first, C1 advanced or C2 proficiency, or any English exam, come to think of it. Uh, so yeah, we're looking at by all means and by no means, which are similar expressions, but quite different as I'm going to explain. So let's start with by all means, which is a really nice, polite expression for basically just saying yes or of course. And it's used often to give permission. Often it's just an, ex an expression on its own to, to respond to someone. So imagine you're in a conversation, again, very useful for the speaking paper of the Cambridge English exams, uh, and your partner wants to interrupt you. And they say, sorry, may I interrupt? And you respond by saying, by all means. So that's just a polite way of saying, of course, yes, no problem. You're giving them permission to interrupt. Or maybe they would say, can I add something here? And you can, again, you'd respond by saying, by all means. So that's using by all means as a, an expression on its own, as a response to someone else. But you, you can also use it in a, in a longer sentence. For example, if you're in the area, by all means, pop in for a cup of tea. So that just means if you're in my neighborhood, if you're in my town, my village, or my part of the city, then you're very welcome, of course, to, to pop in for a cup of tea. To pop in is just to have a, a quick visit, a quick informal visit to somebody's house. One more example, and forgive me for this one, but if you need extra help and guidance with your Cambridge English exam preparation, by all means, join my TTP exam academy. <laughs> Again, that's just emphasizing that you're, you're very welcome. Of course, please join my exam academy. It's true, by the way, we have a fantastic community of students there, all preparing for the Cambridge English exams, all like-minded students, and we give regular workshops to help you with the the preparation. So hit the link in the description if you're interested in that. But let's move on to by no means now. And this means uh, in no way or not at all. It's quite emphatic. So again, maybe you're having a, a conversation with somebody and you say something and you realize from their reaction that perhaps you've offended them. So you wanted to make it clear that in no way, so by no means, did I intend to offend you. Now, the observant of you will have noticed that that's an example of inversion, right? So by no means did I uh, intend to offend you, not I did. So it's inverting the, the subject and the auxiliary verb here. I made a video on inversion, check it out. Again, I'll put it in the description, I think. There's another alternative way of expressing this uh, without inversion. And you could say, I didn't mean to offend you by any means by any means. So instead of by no means, we can say by any means, but then you need the negative to be to go with the auxiliary verb. So I didn't mean to offend you by any means. Okay, one more example. It is by no means certain that the Prime Minister will win the next election. Okay, so by no means certain is quite in doubt that the Prime Minister will win the next election. If you found this video useful, by all means subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.